The next button that we'll discuss in our series is the clear button. We can see how easily the clear button operates by hitting the list records, clicking on Kim Jong-un there, the first record, and then if I click on the clear button, it clears off this portion of the screen. It doesn't delete the record. If I hit list records again, you'll see that the zeroth record, Kim Jong-un, is still there. This just clears off this portion of the screen. Let's look at this button and see how it works. I go to my fe.py file, and towards the bottom of the file, I run into the buttons section. And I scroll down till I come to the button that I'm looking for, which is right here, clear. Let's take a look at this code. The first thing that I do is I tell the button to put itself into the root window and that the text I want to see on the button is the word clear. The width of the button must be 10 units and the command that it must execute when you click on it is the clear it under command. Now assign all of this information to the B6 variable and the system does it. Now Mr. B6 tell Mr. Grid to put you into row 0 and column 6. And then he says that's fine I'll do it. Now let's move up towards the top of the file and find this command's function definition. Clear it under command and see how it operates. So I go up towards the top of the file in fe.py and I'll scroll down till I find that function called there it is. Clear it under command. Let's see what we can do here. If I go down to the bottom of my list box, I can see I've got Kim Jong-un. And at the top, I've got Kim Jong-un. Clearly, I have a duplicate record. Let's get rid of one of them. Let's click on the last one. And there he is. Now I'm going to hit the delete key. And he is now gone. But he still remains on my screen in this area. I'd like to delete out that area. And this is where the clear button comes in handy. If I click on clear, he's out of there. He's still on the table, as you can see here. Clearing just clears off this part of the screen. Let's see how that's done. Here are the names of the data entry variables. E1, E2, E3, and E4. E1, this is what I want you to do. E1, he says yes. I'd like you to delete yourself right from the very beginning, zero, to the end of your text box there. He says, okay, I'll do it. E2, delete yourself from the beginning to the end of your text box. Okay, I'll do it. E3, same for you, delete everything from the zeroth, the beginning, to the end of your text box. And E4, delete your silly self, starting at the beginning all the way to the end. And all four of these variables do exactly that. I click on Sam Peckinpah, and then I click on Clear. And that is how this button works. Now let's make a change to our system. I'm going to click on Brad Pitt here. And up he goes. Now I'm going to delete Brad Pitt. Now he's gone out of here. But I did not clear off the screen and list my records. So I have to click on clear. And then list my records again. Hmm. Let's go up and automate that. Let's move this out of the way. Let's scooch up towards the delete under command function. Which we covered in the previous video. I'm going to remove the rem character from this line so that the system will automatically run the clear it under command. When someone hits the delete button, 
So let's get rid of that. Next, let me get rid of the other pound sign there. And now, when someone deletes out a record, it will delete out the record from the database table, run the clear it command, which clears off the screen, and then run the view command, which basically refreshes the list box. Well, let's test this and see if it works. And there's Jack Reacher. Let's get rid of Jack Reacher. And I delete. It clears off the screen, removes him from the database table, refreshes the list box, and as you can see, he's now gone. We still need buttons to edit and search for data. We'll do that in upcoming video lessons. I hope you found this useful, and if you would like and share this video, I would greatly appreciate that. And of course, I wish you lots of luck. Bye-bye now.